Huawei and China's top chip maker have built an advanced processor to power its latest smartphone. It's a sign that Beijing is making early progress in a nationwide push to overcome U.S. sanctions. Huawei has been at the center of intensifying U.S. trade curbs on Chinese businesses, which Washington says are based on national security concerns. Let's speak now to Bloomberg's Peter Elstrom, who has details here. So, Peter, strip this story down for us, if you could. Bloomberg worked with a, a specialist research firm on this to take apart this new phone, this new smartphone from from Huawei, what did what did uh, the investigators find? Uh, that's right. Uh, so Huawei quietly dropped this phone last week into the market, and it caused quite a stir. Uh, it's an advanced phone. It's called the Mate uh, 60. Uh, but there were a lot of questions about exactly what kind of technology was inside the phone. Huawei had had to back out of the smartphone market because it didn't have access to the most advanced chips, the kind that would power, say, the iPhone, uh, for example. So it wasn't clear exactly where it got these chips or how it got these chips. Unlike most technology companies that love to talk talk about specs. Huawei didn't say anything about the specs here, especially the key ones. So what we did is we bought one of the phones and then we worked with this firm, Tech Insights, which does uh, breakdowns, teardowns of products uh, professionally. And they looked at the components inside uh, the, the phone. And what they found was very, very interesting. They found that there is an advanced semiconductor uh, inside the phone that's made by SMIC. That's a Chinese uh, chip making company that's not known to have these kinds of capabilities. They we're able to make the phone at what's, what's called seven nanometer technology, which is quite advanced. Um, and in that case, they were they were able to produce a processor that was much more advanced than people had anticipated SMIC was actually capable of doing. So it's a sign of China's progress in getting around some of these U.S. restrictions on the kind of technology it has access to, particularly for a company like Huawei, which is blacklisted by the U.S. government.